at the Rush Alzheimer's Disease Center, we're interested in a whole range of factors that can prevent or delay the onset of Alzheimer's disease. If the number doubles, the cost will at least double. The only thing that will bring the cost down is prevention. Okay, so you want prevention and treatment coupled. So we're interested in psychosocial factors, personality factors, diet, activity, medical factors, um, anything that you know could delay the onset of Alzheimer's disease and how it, ex how it does that. In order to prevent Alzheimer's disease and find prevention medications, we're going to need to reach as a nation a million individuals, a lot of individuals that might not even see themselves at risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. Um, and that million people will translate into about 100,000 individuals that will be part of these studies on prevention. We visit places like Trinity United Church of Christ. We go to uh, AARP organizational meetings. We go to fraternities and sororities. We go to a wide range of places to talk to those individuals where we recruited from initially, and we go back and tell them this is what we learned um, from your participation. We follow people now for up to 21 years ongoing, and everyone's an organ donor. We have about 1,300 brains. What we do is we look at their brains at the end of life, and we look at all the different pathologies that can occur to look for the pathologies of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, and a host of other neurodegenerative diseases that we know are bad for the brain. So we'll eventually be able to get molecular signatures from the brain that we can see in living human brains. We're interested in a lot of different factors during life. We're investigating now, for instance, things like blood pressure and diabetes. And what we're finding so far with our brains um, in these studies is that diabetes is not related to the pathology of Alzheimer's, but appears to be causing vascular problems in the brains. A lot of people develop Alzheimer's disease in the brain and their memories are perfectly normal. What is it about them? What's going on in that brain? What is it going on during life? And what's going on in the brain? If we can find those systems, then we can actually target things that are downstream of multiple different pathologies. Some of the foods that I would recommend to people to consume in their diet to protect their brains would be green leafy vegetables, and by that I mean spinach, kale. Berries are an excellent food for the brain. Even moderate adherence to the MIND diet was associated with a 35% reduction in the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. People who had high adherence also had a reduced risk by 53%. I think we're very close, very, very close to a lot of discoveries that can impact the progression of the disease. Our center is widely considered among the best in the world um, in terms of the progress that we're making and the studies that we're doing. If we could even, you know, put five more years on an older person's life, five, ten, for them to get to know their grandchildren better, be at the, um, you know, um, graduations, the weddings, um, yeah, I think whatever we could do would be, would be great. Mm -hmm.